no rest. Work. Just gotta get that bread. All day, every day. That will keep you awake. That will keep you above your competition. Hey, what's that? Oh, all right, all right, shit, I forgot the button. Despite the hustle culture that surrounds us every single day, I realized early on that I needed to figure out a productivity system that was going to allow me to get the best grades that I could while also putting the least amount of time so that I also had time to be able to go to the gym, catch up with my friends, and keep up to date with current events. Hey friends, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Shavar and I do, and I'm a final year medical student at UCT. So firstly, you need to figure out what it is that you're procrastinating. Recently, I discovered a new app called Notion, which I found really useful. I like the concept of being able to put all of my school content in the same place that I could add YouTube ideas, as well as plant-based meal plans, to be honest. I have the attention span of a goldfish and I really don't like to read, which is why I hate copious amounts of writing. In my current block, Psychiatry, I first scoped the subject and I put all my headings in, and if I clicked on each subheading, it would open up to reveal the content that I was looking for. So that when I look at it from the outside, when I do sit down to study, it doesn't feel overwhelming and I know exactly what task fits in where and how the subject comes together. I'm also able to keep my reading list on Notion so that I can keep track of the books I've read and what I've learned. In 2018, James Clear reminded the world that we should be systems focused rather than goal orientated. Right? Everybody wants a radical improvement, we want rapid success, but we fail to realize that small habits and little choices are transforming us every day already. A task expands to full the amount of time that we've allocated to it, which is why sometimes you might find it takes three years to post another YouTube video. This concept is known as Parkinson's law. I have always used Google Calendar and it, from the get-go, it does look pretty basic. First, I put in what times and where I need to be for school. Then, secondly, I always like to put in my deadlines. So for me, specifically, every four weeks, I would just, my deadline in that case would be the event with my final exam for the block. Uh, if you're working, that could just be any tasks that you need to submit. I like to put any family or social commitments when you have a calendar, it becomes really simple to pick up on when you have isolated periods of protected time during which you can do your daily highlight, described by Jake Knapp in his book Make Time. This daily highlight is the most important thing you want to do that day, so that you can study uninterrupted for an entire hour. Or maybe you would like to use that time to go to the gym. I like to choose my daily highlight to do from 5.30 to 6.30 or 7. It's at the same time every day. I'm usually never needing to be anywhere. And it also helps my brain focus. So as soon as I wake up, I know I'm always going to be studying. It doesn't take any extra time to be able to get into the zone. Which brings me to my last point. The most successful people have the ability to constantly reevaluate themselves and their efforts so that they can continue to grow. Carol Dweck refers to this as the growth mindset. This is where my humble notebook comes in. The night before, I usually write down a few tasks that I would like to accomplish during the day. At the end of the day, I reevaluate those three things and I take what I have done and if I haven't done something, I hold myself accountable by writing down why I haven't done this. As punitive as this may sound, I do this because it makes me aware of my thoughts which affect my feelings which may cause maladaptive behavior. For example, on Tuesday I kept thinking that I didn't cover enough work. This thought led to me feeling anxious. My anxiety caused my primal brain to search for dopamine somewhere in my external environment and that is why I went on Netflix and I watched Superstore. Me watching Netflix was a manifestation of a maladaptive behavior to compensate for that toxic thought. <laughs> Another important core feature of having that little notebook is reaffirming your positive actions and being able to track your progress and your consistency. James Clear also describes this in his book Atomic Habits. He's done the maths and I fully trust him because maths has never been my strong suit but he says that if you become 1% better every single day by December 31st you will be 
37 times better than the person you were in January 1st. Thank you for watching my video guys, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a comment down below and if I've left anything out or if you found anything that has helped you, please will you share that with me. All the best and let me know what you think. Bye bye!